So I need to upload a new lot of Calibrator. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, so first thing is you have to be in standby to um, download any new uh, lots of anything, whether it be um, Reagent or Calibrators. So to do a Calibrator, you go to Calibration tab. Let's see, I need to do D-dimer, but it's a new lot. And we're going to go to Install. All right, so I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to delete the previous spots that are... Um, containing my D-dimer calibrator. Go delete. Then I'm going to go to download. It's going to pop up with a new screen. Now I typically like to find the lots I have by going to calibrator name. And then you just go to the drop down tab and you can scroll through until you find the D-dimer calibrator. Oh, it's at the very top. Okay, so then when you're there, you just hit search. And it's going to bring up all of the current lots that they have programmed. Um, so let's go ahead and see what lot I have. So this is the lot that I have. And it's not coming into focus. Anyways, the lot is, let's see, so it's 696, let's go to the next tab, I'm looking for 696917, so there we go, so it's going to be this one right here, 696, 170, and I'll check the expiration to make sure that it is January 1st, 2015. It is. After you select the D-dimer calibrator you want to download, you have to click download. See, it wants to ask if I'm sure I want to transfer. Yes. Okay, so that's the calibrator name that's going to do. It's going to start at 680, which was the starting of my last parameter. Okay. Okay, so it's going to want to do this for all. All six. Okay, so now it should be downloaded. So we go here and we see where I deleted them earlier. They're all back. Now there's one more thing you have to do. Um, since I deleted the old calibrator, I need to reassign all of these um, to a rack again. So you get a rack assign. And this will vary possibly for. Um, each facility, but the rack that we use, I believe, is seven one eight. Which it is. So here's our racks. I use so seven one to eight one, and then just go ahead and make sure you put it the. Um, right calibrator in the right spot. See, so they're all kind of scrambled up here. But 680 was number one. And let me just do that in numerical order. Oh, looks like I messed up. I missed 681. So now I gotta remove and assign them in the right order. It's important to make sure this is right or your calibration's definitely going to fail. Alright, so once you get them in there, just make sure it's all right. 680 to 685, then just hit OK. And there, you're all set.